Hello, and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to share an exercise with you that will hopefully help you the next time you go through a mental breakdown. It's for those times where you, you reach that private moment where you feel like you just can't go on anymore. Those times where all of your thoughts have this theme of impending doom. My name is Sage. Know that I am not a professional, but I do come from experience. So as we go through this video and the exercise, I ask that you may view me as a fellow peer and as a sister. For this exercise, you will need something to write with and plenty of paper. You will also need some sort of private space. If you don't have your own room with a closed door, maybe you can go in your car, uh, even a closet will work. I know I've done this exercise in a closet before. Um, just wherever you can find that you feel safe and comfortable to just completely release, cry if you need to cry, just your little bubble zone. This exercise includes three phases. So phase one, I'm gonna have you just feel everything you are currently feeling if you know your situation has just happened or if it's something that you've been bottling up. I just really want you to get out everything. You're gonna be writing down profusely everything on paper, just get it all out. So that's phase one. And then phase two, you are going to either talk to God, source, the force, the universe, or your higher self, whatever works for you. You're going to be just asking questions. It could be stuff like, why, why is this happening to me? Just any sort of questions and get out any bit that you weren't able to get out in phase one. So phase one and phase two really just involve getting everything out, getting any questions out. Um, and then you will be able to move to phase three once you've completed these two, phase three is focused more on positive thinking. You are going to be focusing on what it is that you want and what it is that you need that will make you feel better now. All right, so um, know that I have my journal right here. I did work through the exercise just last night. Um, I had a job offer and it didn't work out how I had anticipated and so I was really upset and I also had stresses of school and everything else, so I had a mental breakdown <laughs> and I cried, but I got through it and uh, I felt better and I went to bed and I woke up early and I filmed and so I know that if it worked for me, it could work for you. Let's go into the exercise. You are in your bubble, right? You're in your special place, your private place where you can just let go and be completely authentic with yourself. Be very present to everything that you're feeling. If this is something that just happened, if this is, if these are emotions that have been bottled up the past days, weeks, everything, I want you to become very present to it and let yourself just feel it. Get your pen and I want you to start writing everything down. Everything that you're sick of, everything that you're tired of, everything that you're frustrated with, just let it all out. Let it be anger. Let your tears flow out. Just get it out, okay? So phase one, get it all out. At this moment, I just want to crawl into a black abyss and never have to worry again. I am tired. I am tired of searching. I am tired of tragedies. I am tired of uncertainties. I am tired of negative people. I am tired of feeling like I always have to end up managing things. I'm tired of having to come home to so many damn people. I am tired of always feeling like there's something else that needs to be done. I am tired of making money for others. Why do all these people even try to keep contact with me? Why did I believe so much in me having a career as an entertainer? I am tired of wanting, I am tired of seeking. I'm tired of second guesses, I am tired of making ends meet, I am tired of pressure, I am tired of feeling uncertain. I am tired of not knowing what I want. I am tired of empty promises. I am tired of having my hopes up. <sighs> While I wrote this, I was crying, so know that it's okay to cry. So that's phase one. You're getting everything out, everything out. Everything you're frustrated with, everything you wish was different, just get it all out. We're moving on to phase two. This is when you start kind of um, 
talking to your higher self or God, source, the force, whatever it is, and you start asking questions to yourself and to it. What do you want? God, I don't understand. I asked for these things, yet still I am unsatisfied. Please just tell me what I need. What do I want to be? What is my purpose? What am I to do? How am I to know everything I have created isn't a mistake? I wish so badly to know the loving, certain embrace of my father. At that moment, I was completely bawling. Know that that's okay. Phase two is where you're demanding answers with the expectation that you will be receiving it. I want you to ask any questions you have ever had. Questions about reality, questions about the purpose of life, questions like, you know, if someone passed away, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, or if you lost a job, or if you're going through a breakup, ask questions like, what was the point of all this? Blah, 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 blah. Ask everything, like you demand an answer, like it's gonna give you one. Phase two is also like, yes, you ask questions, but if more stuff comes out that you think you should have put in phase one, write it out, okay? Don't filter yourself, just get it out. And I want you to keep writing. Keep writing until you have absolutely nothing else to write about. By the time you do reach that point, don't be surprised if you are crying. And if you are crying, just cry. Cry until you can't cry anymore. Or if you're angry and you need to punch a pillow or punch your bed, do that. As long as you're not hurting yourself, don't break anything, you know, don't hurt anyone, don't hurt yourself, but whatever you need to do, do it until like you don't need to do it anymore. Once phase one and phase two are complete, you should have nothing else that you feel like you need to release. You should feel completely relieved. Let yourself sit with everything that you just released. Really become present to the fact that you do feel better. Your breath should start calming down. You know, you're not gonna be crying anymore. Blow your nose, wipe your tears up. And the moment where you're just kind of sitting there where you're like, okay, now what? That's time for phase three. Phase three, this is where you start to write out what it is that you want, what it is that you need to feel better now. What would you need to feel better now? If you lost someone to death or if you lost a job, like if you got fired or if you're going through a breakup, of course, having your job back or having your loved one back would be nice, but that's out of your control. Mine is obviously gonna be related to like my work. For phase three, I said, I want to have my own successful business. I wanna create my own wealth. I wanna create content for people that is so good that people crave for more. I wanna have time to educate myself. I wanna have time to create and learn what I wanna learn about. I wanna grow, I wanna teach, I want time to nurture my mind, body, and spirit. When I declared that and I realized how true it was and I imagined that if I had all of that, I would be so much better, like I, I, that would be it, I would be happy. I was happy because I now had a, like a reference point. I'm like, okay, well I can make these into goals and it becomes more obtainable. And you, just you becoming clear about what it is that you would need or want to feel better now, you can actually see it now. You have it written down and you can start working towards it. It's a little bit of a guide. The only way I was able to get to phase three, which is declaring what I need and what I want, you have to go through phase one and phase two. And whatever um, situation you're dealing with, know that you are not alone, that a lot of us feel things as much as we may put a front that everything's okay. We're all dealing with our own battle and demons, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I really hope this exercise helps you. It really did help me last night before I'd get into these episodes and it would turn into a deep depression that would last weeks and months. But if you just allow yourself to relieve everything that you bottle up and instead just let it out, you're going to feel better. I promise. I also recommend that you date your journal entry 
because it's really cool to see how you progress mentally with time and you can reflect back like the next day you can read it and just you'll feel better knowing that you're not that low anymore and then you'll feel proud of yourself subscribe to my channel if you enjoy videos like this i make videos discussing the importance of our mindset and our beliefs and how you can directly influence the quality of your life as videos to come i do want to focus on mind body and spirit videos and just things that i enjoy talking about but yeah it was a pleasure Best of luck to you, best wishes, and have a good day. Until next time.